send that down just in case. So I wanted to repair because our weapon was broken, which means we're doing less damage. So now we can kill them within a stamina bar. Which make things a little bit easier. But I mean, like, if you're looking for some more blood echoes, you can kind of farm these guys up a bit. They're not that aggressive, easy to kill. Um, yeah, let's carry on. I might as well just clear all these guys out. I've got some item, well, an item to pick up around here. a drop <laughs> okay some blue elixirs cool the worth losing the uh life probably not yeah i've just realized i've kind of run out of uh blood files as well so i need to be a little bit careful um this guy's got a fast chain whip but a slow cleave attack so if you don't want to try and get the uh, paras in, again, just dodge around to the back. You get some shots off there. I'm not a madman's knowledge. Is there anything around here? Be careful if you got your uh, brightness set pretty low. There are gaps in the floor. <laughs> Just be careful, especially when dodging as well. Want to be dodging off the level. All right, we've got the mad wench. Oh my god. Just got back there in time. Die! Oh crap. Wow, that was messy. That's when panic mode hits. Elevator over here. Blood elixirs. And nothing over there. I've only been through this a few times, so I'm not really, I'm not completely familiar with it still. We're just heading outside, we've got some, uh, some dog crows and crow dogs. Sick mofos around, whoever came up with these beasts. These are just gonna drop down. Is there another one? Yeah. Um, there's also one over here from the cage. Let's take a run and jump. And completely jump off the edge. Brilliant. <laughs> Okay, so I think, I believe the easiest way to do is to just roll in there. Just make sure right at the edge, though, otherwise you will probably roll off the side of the hill, uh, like I did. Um, and we've got another shortcut that we're just about to activate. Oh, 
just gonna take us all the way back down here again to the base of the loft. We're gonna send that back down just for one other way again. Um, although, like, if we can do this right, this shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, so we're gonna head across this bridge. I've got these kind of things that pop up. Don't worry about killing any of these because they don't give experience. Ah, cars. Or some say cosm. Do you hear our prayers? No. We shall not abandon the dream. No one can catch us. No one can stop us now. Okay, Miklash has the nightmare. So, I can't remember, there is like an easy way to do this where we go straight into the room. Uh, but it's generally just a. There he is. Just a little circle. So, you want to kind of force him into the big room without the mist in there. So, is he going to go in? going to go down. So, we was an item. So, if we follow them, if we follow him here. Push him up those stairs and then come back round. He generally runs uh, the opposite way that you're coming from. We can get him in this room. Buffer with some fire. And we got two ads to start off with. So try and not get hit by that. Oh my god, just stay still. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to get these out of the way. Quickly, these ain't an issue. And then we've got Mikalash. So his first phase is kind of easy. You can literally just uh, circle around him. Wait for him to do his uh, attack. And then just keep hitting him. Then when you run out, just move to the side. And that's phase one complete. Kind of easy. <laughs> oh, majestic! A hunter is a hunter, even in a dream. But yeah, we don't get any echoes for those. Not too fast. We've got like the halfway point. So there's some items that we can get as well. If we head down here. Uh, some nice chunks. <clears throat> Should we get because there are some of these enemies. They do have weapons that are a bit more aggressive. You do have a Mikalash howling in the background. Oh, that was like half health. They got like nine tails. Is and I am very quickly running out of health potions. <laughs> oh god. I might do it this bit, you know. <laughs> Grant us eyes. <clears throat> oh, so not the easiest thing to do. I, I just want to kind of bring this one back because it's that chain whip. That's fast. Oh, fuck off. There she goes again. What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> 50 bullets later. <sighs> I 
Oh yeah, this creepy music's gonna go on until we re-engage him again. Well, until we've killed him. He's gonna keep speaking, but... So we get Moon from here. What does Moon do? This is uh, the Blood Echoes. So if you head all the way down here, this is the strong one. So more echoes from slain enemies. Which is going to be a nice rune to get for farming. Uh, but yeah, I've got one health potion left. I'll still... Uh, <laughs> it's not going to be good. Let's push if we get hit a few times. Ah, nice. Okay, so we've got some potions back. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so that's all the, like, midway enemies. The ones that can be killed that we get some experience for. And then we've got part two. So, same thing again. Um, I can't remember where we need to take him. We need to make him disappear in that window. Then all we do is come back to this floor, take a right, and there's a, a room here with a, a barrier you can jump off. Okay, that friends of cold blood. And then we just jump in from this side, which pushes him into the room. Uh, but we can't go in there yet, it's going to slam that behind him. Some bullets. So we come out of the room, head, head left, up the stairs. Uh, left again, up these stairs. All the way to the top, and take a right. Get that chunk, and then into this room. Um, so there are some like cheeses you can do with this boss, where we, you can like fire some uh, poison darts at him and stuff. We're okay, gonna make sure to top up here. We're gonna hit that buff, and then do a drop and attack, and then miss. And like all you have to do is literally, he might hit you a few times. Or twice straight away. <laughs> but yeah, he's going to take some hits. I think if you're just aggressive with this and kind of stay close, then he can't use his spell. Again, you just want to be close and circle around. I think that's the the key to this fight. Kind of, if you're getting out, if he's backing off, just dodging close to him.
Um, so yeah, that was my clash. Um, but yeah, the second phase, like the first phase is really easy. Again, it's just like take out the two marionettes and then kind of just circle around him until he does his uh, a, a breeze attack. I can't remember what it's called. Um, and then you can either get the viscerals in or just keep attacking him to stagger him. And again, when he backs away, just dodge back into him. Um, not like straight into him, but kind of like diagonal into him. So you kind of jump into the side of him, but closing the distance. So then you can just keep circling around him. Um, and yeah, the second phase, try and stick close to him. Uh, because if you move out of the way, he'll start summoning his, uh, his spell. Uh, what was it? A call, a call beyond, a call from beyond. Call beyond? I don't know. So already like channels loads of arcane bolts to come flying at you. Uh you can dodge them though. You can uh dodge out of the way of them, but it's gonna you're gonna take a lot of damage from it and it's not worth it. Uh just stay close to him, circle around him and end the fight quickly. If he backs off, dodge back in, close the distance. And then keep circling. Uh he does some fist attacks, which you can parry if you're quick enough, and then get some viscerals from that. But generally, I think it's not worth the risk if you can just stay close. Um, okay. So, where do I go now? This is the bit that I always get lost at. I think it's down here. I think. I'm probably wrong. Is there an item down here? But yeah, once Miklash is dead, all the marionettes disappear. We've got the iron door key. And there's another item. King Cold Blood. Um, okay. So if we if we head back to like the first area. Uh, wherever we came in from, down this way. guys are still alive. So I've still only got like four health potions. Um, so yeah, if you head down this way, is it there? Like strangely enough, a new kind of thing has opened up. Uh, over here, like one of the bookshelves have collapsed to show this door, which we just open with the iron key. Now, this is like the back way. So like if you ever come back here and decide you want to go through there, don't go that way. That way is extremely hard to get through to the end and I wouldn't recommend it. We're going to go a different way. One way um, that's a little bit safer, but either way, it's still going to be a little, uh, slightly hard. we have more of those uh, brain brain ladies to take care of so let's head up this way uh, so we're just going back to the bit where we jumped into the room because the bridge is now raised so we can get across over here and we've got a lamp um, but I'm going to return right now do some things 